think we have spelled out in the statement that uh, the, the, this, the issue to, uh, to be raised. Um, firstly, that uh, we are concerned about the multiracial, multiracial tensions. Number two, the crackdown. Number three, on the need for clean, fair elections. Thank you. Have to add. Uh, support and oh, all right. I don't think uh, we are not uh, heading uh, or not making any, uh, any progress. On the contrary, we have made uh, a major imprint and impression among the Malaysian public. People are aware now about clean and fair and free elections. And I think um, from 57 until 2007, there at no time the Malaysians actually debate and have a very healthy, vibrant discourse, except on by the uh, government control media, but the rest uh, you can see very vibrant uh, discussion and debate on this. We have adduced um, a strong uh, evidence to prove our case uh, when uh, Prime Minister Abdullah and Tansi Rashid uh, denied these uh, allegations and uh, called for specific proof of evidence. We have adduced these evidences and uh, we have gone straight to the Rakyat. It is a process, and we, we believe uh, that this meeting um, with the Prime Minister will make some, uh, at least uh, we are able to adduce this evidence and uh, so that he's able to reflect upon them. Because apparently all the submissions, memos and uh, reports have not been read by him. So I think it is appropriate uh, forum for us to place and probably read one or two uh, these examples. I, I don't think we should talk about the difference. I think both are not uh, defendable or tenable uh, purely in the issue of law and constitution. Both were politically motivated, both were considered uh, repressive measures against the uh, free sentiments of the Raya. I think uh, Dr. Musafa said correctly, we, we are not here to preempt. We are here to suggest a meeting should take place immediately. Yeah, because they have not. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, the key leaders are not here, and uh, it is not a formal organization of a sort. So, uh, there's not been official communications between us and Indra, per se, I mean, in my office in particular, but I think uh, uh, many of those who, were, who did participate in Indra are also here. Yeah, it's your statement uh, No, the statement makes reference to those arrested on the 22nd, which means uh, those arrested during the Indra uh, organized uh, rally is part of our uh, I mean, case that we are presenting. Yeah, it's, it's quite a number of people approached, and uh, that's why, and they wanted to be quite uh, not a uh, party office, so was, and then we offered the venue. Number of parties, number of organizations. Yeah. Oh, oh no, meet, no, no. Uh, uh, no, the, the, sorry. Uh, meeting the prime ministers, I think, probably not the whole uh, representative of all yeah. organizations. They might be selected among the representative of it. Yeah. That, uh, 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 well, well, um, we can. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, it can be, it can be. It's 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 My office may not be too popular, but then <laughs> I think I'll just probably present the case on behalf of all the parties and organisations. And then if the PM feels that you know. Uh, 50 is too many, then he says uh, probably 15, uh, we can still consider. I, sh I shouldn't say that we should, uh, there should not be any preconditions. There should be a healthy, open discussion.
No, we are just uh, meeting the Prime Minister. The issue is now, uh, as you see in the statement, it's not, be, it's not a question of uh, coalition for elections. It's just uh, demanding uh, free, fair, clean elections. <laughs> I think it's a... <laughs> I know. I think it's uh, clearly stated in that joint statement. Uh, joint statement is uh, to address, I think, the uh, the sense of uh, national crisis uh, affect, pervading or affecting the country, and all this is actually generated by the government to create and instill fear amongst relations that uh, we appear to to have uh, demonstrations every day. I, I think you want to dispel that. We are not demonstrating for the sake of demonstrating. Even though demonstrations are a fundamental human right, but you do not want the government to succeed in instilling fear amongst the people. And I think in that in that regard, the government feels that fear is probably their only weapon, their only weapon to defeat the opposition in the next elections. Because if you talk about reason, you talk about issues, they have lost completely to the opposition. The only weapon they have, a desperate, a dishonourable tactic they employ, is fear. And we do not want, as I said, uh, to give the impression, to allow the government to generate that, that sort of uh, uh, falsehood that the opposition parties are creating problems. We are not. It is the police that is creating problems. We saw that very clearly in Parliament House, where in a, in a ground, which is supposed to be actually uh, inviolable grounds, inviolable in terms that the police cannot invade the sanctity of Parliament. And yet arrests were made not only on a former member of parliament, but also those who were guests of the opposition leader as well as MPs. Are we becoming a police state just to serve the interests of Pakistan? So I think in that respect, I think these are issues that we all have to address. And I think as far as the DAP is concerned, uh, we are very upset and we are very uh, we condemn strongly the stern action taken by the government against those demonstrators who. Uh, expressed or protested peacefully, unarmed demonstrators who, who uh, protested peacefully. But at the same time, we want to show, uh, we want to, uh, 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 what do you call that, expose the lies of Barisan. We are not demonstrating for the sake of demonstrating. That is untrue. So I think we want to show that uh, with this meeting with the Prime Minister, we are willing to talk. But it is you who are not willing to talk and it is you who are not willing to listen. And that is the message that we want to impart today. We show our sincerity. Uh. We talk about national reconciliation, <coughs> not confrontation. And that's why I think it is not only from uh, political parties. This is not a platform of uh, of uh, for elections. Uh. This is more as I said, a platform of for all uh, concerned citizens. It is just only not only political parties are involved. This is civil society speaking. As Harris always like to say, uh, people's parliament. <laughs> so this is civil society speaking. And I think we represent not only the voice of political parties, but also from all other NGOs. And here we, we, we uh, as I said, a, a, a broad cross-section of society. And if he is a prime minister that has big ears that listen, instead is deaf and only listens probably to Kyrie and Jan Abdullah, we want him to prove <laughs> us wrong. Uh. Listen to the people. I think that is his responsibility as Prime Minister for all Malaysians. Actually, he should listen also to himself. <laughs>